Turbo Trading with Head Trader Robert Knight, MBA. This is a video on uh, the Dow theory and a, a buy signal that it's we're very close to seeing here. Now, Dow theory is was uh, invented back in 1812 or something like that. There was two guys, Dow and Jones. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial, they put together the indices. And um, the original one was uh, was a confirmation, or was a, a trend between the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Dow Jones Transportation Average. But of late, most people now throw in the uh, Standard Poor's 500. And what it, what it is, it's a confirmation of the indices breaking out through new uh, through key levels and setting a trend, either breaking up or down, depending if it's a Dow buy or Dow sell theory, Dow, Dow theory sell, Dow theory buy. Let's just talk a bit about the Dow itself, or the Dow theory itself. First of all, you have to recognize that the chart patterns, especially the, these big indices, are the sum total of all the knowledge of all the traders, of all the events that are happening in the world, discounted at an appropriate uh, risk factor. So, I mean, it includes the world economies, you know, interest rates, what Chairman Powell just said. All these things all come in and they make a point on the chart and the charts as they go over time form a pattern. And so this is the world knowledge of the stock markets. Not everybody knows, but it's all the knowledge of all the people in the markets um, to, to, to form these charts. So the theory is, actually there's a theory and it's called Efficient Market Hypothesis, EMH. And EMH says that you can't do any better than um, the indices. Now Warren Buffett would, would argue against that, but you can't do any better than the indices unless you adjust your risk to a greater risk and then you have more volatility. But the efficient market hypothesis uh, says that all earning potentials, competitive advantage, management's competence, all these factors are all priced into the market. And um, now not everyone knows all these details, but the, the sum total of it all gives you these points on the chart. So that's that's the basis for the Dow theory. That this is all the information that's available to the world, and the chart reflects what's happening in the world. There, you can't buy EMH efficient market hypothesis. There isn't stocks that are undervalued. There isn't stocks that are overvalued. In a long term, of course, unless you're adjusted for risk, then you'll find. Of course, you'll find those, but you still. Uh, unless you're Buffer or, or you know, a few of these very successful fund managers, you can't beat them, can't beat the indices. So what is Dow theory? Well, what it says is that any time that the, the Dow industrial uh, or the trannies, but normally you're looking at the Dow industrials, breaks out or trades above key, key levels, so in this case here, we saw at the end of November, we got the golden cross. It traded up to this key resistance, backed off, but it's forming a cup and handle pattern here. If this can get up through 34,300, that's a, that's a breakout for the Dow. But it's not the, it, it, but the Dow theory needs to be confirmed by a move by the Dow transportation. And in this case, actually, the Dow transportation may be ahead of the Dow. So they both have to confirm each other. When we see here again, here's your 200 or your 50 crossing up through the 200, breaking out through a key level, this declining channel line and this this resistance level here. So this is a Dow, no, so this is a breakout on transportation. We need the Dow now to break out over this level to confirm it. This uh, 34,300, maybe 34,600. In that area, if it breaks out through that, that confirms the move on the transportation. 
but that's 30 stocks in the in the industrials and 20 stocks in the transportation so most a lot of people now have added in the SPX in the range of 500 stocks and so if those three charts all break out through key areas then that's a very very strong buy signal that the the the, the tr direction has changed that we've come out of this bear market here we've got this big reverse head and shoulders pattern here's your key resistance at the 4100 the 50 is just about to cross up through the 200 that's your uh that's your um golden cross so we're very very close here and if these all break out that's a huge confirmation it doesn't happen very often on, a, on, a, on a, near the bottom of the well this is the bottom of the bear market so this could be the start of a big bull phase if we get the confirmation of these three indices all breaking out at the same time that's Dow theory don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel reach new levels of trading proficiency become a member at turbotrading.biz